appropriate time that I can think of. I would also like to take this opportunity of uh, thanking a very dear friend of mine uh, who was with me at I am in Lahore and whom I value very much, who is your founder, Dr. Vishwajit Patnaik, who approached, who reached out to me and invited me to really talk to you all uh, this morning. So having said that, let me just get off to a start in terms of looking at what I would, what I feel is really going to be the kind of things that are required when a firm is in the midst of a, of a difficult period itself, if I were to say that. So Professor Samantari, can you just please share the slides that I uh, sent to you? Please share the slide. Professor Samantare. Sir, is it visible now? Yeah, can you just put it on a slideshow? Just put it on a slideshow. Just put it on a slideshow. Yeah. Is it visible now, sir? Right, 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 right. So, you know, uh, I'm sure that all of you would agree with me that today is perhaps the most difficult period that any one of us would have ever encountered in our lives. In fact, in the last 100 years, the world has never seen such a kind of a stressed period that it is right now witnessing and that it is going through. And therefore, it is no, it's it's no 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 difficult, or it is no kind of a of a guess of anybody that the firms are going to be in any kind of a situation other than what they are today. Everybody is really stressed out today. The customer is stressed out. The retail is stressed out. The firms are stressed out, and not only so, even the governments are stressed out. Because the challenge is so humongous that it is extremely difficult for anybody to really understand what is it that they should be doing. Well, obviously, I personally feel that there are many, many challenges that come up in the, in the life of a firm. It is not that only one kind of a challenge. There are many, many kind of challenges that come up. For example, when let's say a technology suddenly changes, making your product obsolete, and you are suddenly thrown out of the market. It's a difficult period. What do you do at that point of time? Or you suddenly realize that the government has changed the policy and you really do not know how to really handle the situation at that point of time. Suddenly now the prices have gone up, or for that matter, let us say, your product is no more, your, your product cannot be really freely marketed the way it had been so far. I mean, the classical example is that of the tobacco products, for example, which you cannot market uh, in, in today's kind of a time period, largely because of the fact that the government of India or the, or the governments of the world have come out with very, very serious kinds of, you know, uh, stipulations that need to be put on a cigarette pack or on tobacco products itself. And at the same time, there are health considerations and, and health factors that have come up and customers, customer preferences have also changed. But COVID is a very different ball game. COVID is perhaps a kind of a, of a challenge that has never been witnessed. This, that's what I just mentioned to you all. And therefore, on the one hand, the supply lines have been disrupted. If you look at the consequence of, 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 of COVID, supply lines have been disrupted. So the supply chain has been disrupted. Demand has collapsed, largely because of the fact that, you know, customer is not too very sure of what is really going to be or how long the COVID is going to last or whether I'm going to have really the job. Or whether my business will come or not. Also, therefore, from that kind of a point of view, 
you know, his income levels taking a big kind of a beat. You would have all seen that the Indian economy has collapsed in the, in the first quarter by almost about 32%. Now that's a humongous kind of a, or 23%, let, let, let me correct, I stand corrected, 23%. It is the negative, negative kind of a thing, negative growth, which means it isn't even for that matter a zero percent, but it is minus 23 percent. And so therefore, the GDP has contracted. And when the GDP has contracted, the consumption levels are going to get affected in a very big way. So let's move to the next stage, uh, Professor Samantare. Let's go to this next stage. Next one. Next slide. So stress times, as I personally feel, challenges any firm's marketing muscle. It challenges the market muscle, as I say, marketing muscle. And typically, one of the kind of things that really emerge in such a kind of time period. This is a testing period for the firm. Because the challenge is whether the firm is really going to survive or not. And therefore, from that kind of a point of view, the first thing is its resilience. Is the firm able to really withstand this kind of a downward kind of a, of a slope? Does it hold good or does it fall apart? What is, its, what is its level of resilience? That, I think, is extremely important. And the same thing would hold good when it comes to the students, when it comes to each one of us as an employee. So the resilience of the firm and the employees is extremely important. The second very important part of the, of the time is what is the attitude that it has towards the market and the employees? Is the attitude one of exploitation? Is it that, okay, fine, you know, now the demand is far more than what the supply is, so we can charge whatever we can, whatever we would want to do. Or is it to say, no, these are difficult times even for the customer. I should be more honest. I should be more, well, I, sh I should really care for them. Is it to exploit an employee? Don't pay the salary saying that we don't have the money? Or is it to say that, all right, we will, we will, we will join. We will all live through this kind of a, of a stress time together. We are going to swim together and we are going to win together. That is the kind of an attitude that comes under the challenge. Next is obviously from this point of view is the trustworthiness of the marketeer. Customer says, can I trust you? You know, the whole attitude will lead towards this kind of a question. At, at, the, at the customer's end. Can I trust you? Now, if the, if the marketeer is not trustworthy, then no matter what is really happening in the marketplace, nobody is really going to be buying your product itself. And therefore, from that kind of a point of view, I think what is really, what is really going to be happening is the, this is the time when the marketeer's trustworthiness is being tested. It at the same time, it requires firm to architect the future in the midst of uncertainty and darkness. Even when, even when, even when, even when one is not too sure, even when, even when we know that, that nothing is, is, is there, we can't see beyond a certain, a certain distance, even then, you have to continue. And not only you have to continue, you have to create a future. You have to create a future for the firm so that you're able to survive. It's like dri driving in darkness. When you, have, when you are surrounded by dark clouds, when you are surrounded by pitch darkness, and there is no light around. Now there, whatever other lights that your, your car has, that is the only light. You have to continue to, to, to move forward. You cannot stand there. So therefore, the firm has to now architect the future in the midst of uncertainty and the darkness. Obviously, this requires innovation. 
And therefore, from that kind of a point of view, firm need to invest in innovations. And the next very important point is the collaboration. Very importantly, it requires companies to collaborate even with competitor to create a better future for the industry. Remember, if the industry survives, only if the industry survives, you have a future. The firm has a future. The firm has no future if the industry doesn't survive. And so therefore, you can really collaborate. For example, today in the pharmaceutical industry and in the, in the life sciences kind of an industry, there's a collaboration that is, that is taking place among firms, you know, to be able to create a vaccine for COVID. Now, although they compete in the marketplace, today they're coming together to, to develop the vaccine. So to my mind, collaboration is important, even when, even with the competitor, so that you can create a better future for the industry. Let's go to the next. Professor Samantha Ray. Professor Savant. So stress time requires going back to the basic. It requires firm to go back to the basic. Go again, focus the customer. And the second most important thing is focus on the well-being of the society. At no other point in time than today, for example, society has become so critical and society's well-being has become so important. And the third very important part is the governance of the marketing process. You know, a transparent governance process of, is really required in marketing. You know, you cannot today say, this is my cost and the customer will take it. No, in today's world where technology is a very big kind of a change driver and technology requires, this is a technology where, which, 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 which requires you to open up. If you don't open up, then in that case, nobody is really going to come to you. Technology forces you to be more transparent. And therefore from that, and only when you are transparent, the customer, con you win the confidence of the customer. So that so what is really required is transparent governance. Technology is really putting that kind of a pressure on the companies to really create such a kind of a transparent governance structure of the marketing process itself. Let's go to the next. And as we go to the next day, next slide, uh, Professor Samandare, I believe that marketing in today's time would require, obviously, as I just said, keeping customers and employees safe all time, maintaining stocks in the market, a difficult situation today, even when it is so difficult, even when supply lines may get disrupted, even then the company must really make an attempt to see that the stocks are there in the marketplace. There are multiple ways of doing it, particularly when you can really do it through an e-commerce kind of a route or through, let us say, uh, direct kind of a marketing and see that you know, the, if, 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 the, if, if you're not able to reach out to the retail, can you really reach out through the direct kind of a route? Amazon, for example, has maintained the supply line to the customer even in the most difficult kind of a time period itself. And why? Even though, even though it was taking much longer time period, for example, today, if you were to order something on Amazon, you could possibly get it in 24 hours or 48 hours or 72 hours. Earlier, it was taking about one week, 10 days, three weeks even, two weeks even. But they were factoring in the delays on account of the supply chain disruption. That is acceptable to the customer. But what is not acceptable to the customer is a situation where you say the product is just not available in the marketplace. Customer retention now becomes far more important than the customer acquisition. So what is important is what you have, hold it on. Because if you are not able to hold it on, then in that case, you will never be able to really succeed in, the, in, in let's say, at a time when it is really required. And obviously, you need to continuously reward this loyalty by giving existing customers orders priority. For example, you know, the, the various kinds of uh, 
of the of the online or e-commerce companies, uh, particularly in the area of uh, fresh supplies like the vegetables and others like DMART, for example, you know, stop taking the orders from new customers. They said we cannot really take new new orders till the time we are able to serve our own existing customers and certainly acquire customers only when the firms can deliver. Okay, go to the next. Let's go to the next. So therefore, the goal of the firm in such a scenario has to be to create to win, win, win. That means, in other words, Sir, one minute, sir. Somebody is entering. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the goal of the comp the firm has to be win, win, win. That is, the firm wins. Firm obviously has to make some profit. We cannot have a situation where the cash doesn't flow in. Because if the cash doesn't flow in, then in that case, the firm can't do anything. But equally, it is important that the society must gain. That means, in other words, whether this is in the context of environment, it is in the context of, let us say, uh, pollution, let's say much lesser pollution, or it is, let us say, in the context of uh, certain kind of practices that lead towards better kind of a society itself, or the customer. So all the three must win at the end of the day. So in an, in any given transaction, three parties must win. All the three parties must win, the firm, the customer, and the society. Let's go to the next. So what is happening at the customer's end? Let's go to the next. What is clearly required is also to view it that today what is really going to be required is the societal marketing. And what is the societal marketing now saying that in the stress times like today, that apart from understanding your target market needs, wants, and interests, you must, as I said, deliver them in a manner that enhances customers' well-being and society's well-being. Obviously, this requires marketeer to be ethical, socially responsible, and balance the objectives of profits, customer satisfaction, and public interest. So look at this. This is what I was just talking about it from the perspective of the when, when, when. So what we are really saying is that what is really required today is a societal marketing. In times like COVID, what is really required is the societal marketing. And it is in this context that there is a very big role for internal marketing. It isn't just merely external marketing, but even the internal marketing now becomes important. That means, in other words, even the internal employees must really be marketed the product, the cause, what you are doing. So therefore, everybody must really be communicated on what is the correct situation and what is the stand of the company in, in all the matters. Therefore, there is a greater degree of requirement of care in marketing communication both for the external customers as also for the internal customers. Let's go to the next. So let's take a look at what's happening with this customer. What's happening to this customer? I'm sure you would all agree with me. You are all in, in right now, and many of you are really in, in, in Bhubaneswar or in, or, in, or in Odisha. I'm sure that much the same way you would all be feeling how long it is going to be continuing. There's an uncertainty today. Uncertainty today is widespread. And not only so, you do realize that this high degree of uncertainty is today creating an anxiety in the, in the consumers, among the consumers. And there is a pessimism today. I'm not too very sure of what is going to be happening. So I, I start believing in everything which is negative. So I start looking at, so it is the negative information which I start consuming. 
and when there when if you look at the media today for example media is full of a whole lot of a negative information so whether this is the television or the bid or let's say the print or it is even some of the web uh, web news itself almost everybody is full of a lot of negative kind of information like for example how many people have been affected by covid how many deaths how many have nobody is talking about the positivity rate nobody is talking about something what what is far more important what is happening on the vaccine development front what is important is to start looking at the more optimistic kind of a picture rather than just the pessimistic picture of course it's a fact that the numbers are growing and will continue to grow because of a large population that we are but the fact is that there is an important role of the marketeer in this kind of a context and of the company as also of the government to create a more optimistic environment this kind of an uncertainty is making customer price sensitive today increasingly more and more customers are price sensitive and therefore they start looking at okay fine if this is a high price product if there are low price version of this particular brand and if so why not i pick up that is there are if there is a if there for example there is a, what we call it as let's say the low packaging is 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 smaller and the price is good i pick up that kind of a product i don't buy or i buy a bigger kind of a pack if i if i find that the price is not really very high so the price sensitivity now takes takes hold and therefore today more and more customers up going to become highly price sensitive price is going to become a very important determiner the next big thing is that today the customers are deferring the consumption of their non essential product look at it today for example if you were to buy a cosmetic if you wanted to buy a cosmetic and you wanted to buy let us say uh, a grocery product or something that you wanted the most essential let's say in the case of men for example a shaving product or in the case of a, of of a, or let's say or or in the home you require some grocery products etc as opposed to buying a a, a non essential product like a cosmetic which one are you going to buy are you going to buy cosmetic or are you going to buy the grocery and you would find that a lot of people today are are deferring their non essential product purchases to a later date and buying the essential product i have a friend of my i know of a company that makes the the canopies the yawnings right and most of this kind of a yawnings are made by are made for homes you know and and these are pretty high price yawnings okay uh quite a lot of technology in it that i am aware of it some of the most latest technology that they are using it for making some of the most fancy yawnings which you find uh in in some of the most affluent homes now obviously it's an affluent product now he does his his orders have all vanished he says unless and until the customer is willing to spend on non essential products my product will not be bought the next thing that we are also seeing is as i said price sensitivity now say require the customer started trading down the purchase so he lo- he opts for the lower price versions or models with fewer features itself and core essentials that i was saying are now more important focus is now on the value customer is now saying look i want you to solve my problems 24 by 7 through your online support don't tell me that you are going to be coming tomorrow or day after tomorrow i want the support 24 by 7 and therefore the online support is what i am really looking at it is also you find that the customer is using increasingly the digital mode of transactions because that is perhaps the best way that they are able to protect themselves in this kind of a stress times itself let's go to the next samandre samandre yeah if you want to look at it now this is this is a bcg study 
on consumer sentiment survey, which was carried out in soon after the lockdown, and uh, over more than two thousand people. And this is a straight away from BCG. So you would find that this is also saying Exhibit Eight. So this is basically an Exhibit Eight of the of the BCG survey, uh, the consumer sentiment survey. Uh, so what it says is that the consumers in India are moving to significant adoption across the various digital activities. So take a and there and if you were to look at it in the post law in in the in the COVID period, you know, the 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 the, the number of users, the increase in the number of users have been indexed to the pre-COVID users. So take a look at it in the context of the digital purchases. For example, fresh foods, you find that the almost 54 percent has been the growth rate in the digital purchases in fresh food in in india you know 1.7 times this has really grown you can you think of buying fish for example through let's say uh, on on a, on a, on a, on a, through, through a digital route but that is what is happening can you think of buying vegetable through a digital route but this is what amazon did you know when it said that you know you could buy the fresh food and the staples etc and even the personal care product directly on the, the from on the amazon itself so what what you realize is that it isn't just merely the online games and the news and the and the videos or the net banking and other things but it is even the food items which are today being in being bought on the digital route itself go to the next and why does that happen price cost because the customer gets better price over there there's been an increase in the adoption of the digital technology post covid period for example 57 percent of the customers you know they, they they said they reported spending more time watching the movies and shows on the various channels that are there the ott's that are there whether this is a hot star or it is a Z5, or it is a Prime Video on Netflix itself. 47% increase in the use of the social media. And 36% use increase in the use of the mobile apps. So if you were to look at it, clearly, there has been a greater degree of an adoption of the digital techno technology in a stress times, largely because of the fact that A, the customer gets a much larger choice and not only so the customer feels empowered now to really select the brand at at the price at which he wants without necessarily having to really go through some of those evaluative eyes or evaluative kind of a evaluation by the peer group itself or by the shopkeeper himself you know, so he doesn't have to be bothered about it as to what salesman is it, who is looking at what he's buying. He, he doesn't have to really bother about it as to who is really saying about his consumption itself. So, that, so you know, that is the kind of a comfort level that he has today in the digital technology itself. Go to the next. Let's go to the next. So therefore, obviously, this requires now in these times that the marketing communication that must happen, you know, the marketing communication has got to be far more uh, responsible. And so the kind of an air uh, things that the marketing is market air has to do is to educate the customer on the new solutions. For example, for example, if today, for in the context of education, for example, there's a whole lot of an online education that has grown. Now. A lot of ed tech companies today are there in the market. Now, the, each what is important is that these companies have to educate the customer on the various kinds of options that they are offering in their in their kind of a platform itself. So, multiple strategies are being used. For example, Coursera uses one kind of an approach of uh, directly reaching out to 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 the to to the to, to the faculty. To the students, giving them you know a shorter kind of a, uh, a period to to access, try, and then make it really 
uh, and then give them a larger kind of a licenses itself. Communicate safe habits, especially in today's times, you know, like, let's say, keeping a safe distance, or for that matter, let us say, uh, on a regular basis, maintaining a personal hygiene, you know, all these are safe habits that need to be communicated on a regular basis. Uh, several companies have really evolved their own marketing communications and, 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 and companies like Coca-Cola or Louis Philippe or many of the other companies or Detol, for example, or Lifeboy, for example, they have, if you were to look at the, the communications in today's time period, they are talking about some of these kinds of safe habits. Now that makes the brand come out as a more responsible brand. When you are actually communicating safe habits, when you are educating the customer on the new solutions, the brand comes out as a more responsible brand. So as I said, you know, the customer is looking at whether you can be trusted or not. Now this is one way by which they are able to strengthen their trust, communicate regularly and frequently with a greater degree of intensity, keep the customer informed of every little thing, even the adverse news. The adverse news, for example, you are going out of the business, you are come, you are withdrawing a particular product line, inform the customer. Be transparent and obviously, as I said, walk the talk. Go to the next. Revisit price and the payment terms because price sensitivity is high. Please keep this in mind. The goal is to remain liquid and but at the same time prevent exploitative prices. So it is important that you must remain liquid. So that means in other words, you must have cash. If you, if you run out of cash, you can't really do anything. But at the same time, it is important to prevent exploitative prices. We are aware of the of the exploitative pricing which is there today in the in the health industry. You know, there's a whole lot of things that are happening around over there. I don't have to talk about it, but that will not really lead to a better image of the various diagnostic labs and hospitals. And therefore, in good times, these companies are going to be losing out. So keep this in mind, exploitative prices, no. Remaining liquid is important. Therefore, what is important is to really keep looking at your cost and the price. One kind of a way of looking at it is to price on the basis of usage rather than you know one time kind of a price so you say all right i'm going to i'm going to charge you on whatever you're going to consume you will have to pay so you can really talk about it pay per use or the subscription model itself digital payment options really help the customers to re ensure that they get the best deal Absolutely. customer freedom to select the payment modes. Yes, All right, go to the next, and we are end, we are ending it now. Let's go to the next. Thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure talking to you all. I have shared my transferences with uh, Professor Samantha Ray, who can always share it with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the enlightening words. And it's like uh, we are reading your marketing book again here. So I uh, I request uh, my participant if you have any question to ask the Dr. Rajan Saxena. I request my I request participants if you have any question to ask. The same should be none. Thank you, sir. So I will request now our Dr. Bharata Prasanna Mahapatra to propose vote of thanks for this inaugural session. Dr. Mahapatra. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a great honor and privilege for me to be called upon to propose a vote of thanks on the occasion of two-week online certificate program on marketing strategies 
during diff difficult times for the year 2020. So we are deeply grateful to our distinguished chief guest, Professor Dr. Rajan Saxena, former Vice Chancellor of SBKM ANIMS, a deemed to be university in Mumbai, for his enlightening opportunity to express our sincere thanks to him. His presence today in this inaugural season has immensely enhanced its importance and is a great source of motivation to us. Thank you very much, sir. I place my sincere thanks Thank to Professor Dr. Vishwajit Patnaik, founder and president of ASB University, for his able guidance in matters pertaining to the growth and development of the institute. Sir, your invaluable contribution, guidance and encouragement has given a new impetus to our work. Thank you very much, sir. I extend my thanks to our respected Vice Chancellor, Thank Professor you. Dr. Kalyan Kanre, for being a constant source of inspiration for all of us. Thank you very much, sir. I would also like to thank our respected Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Falgu Niranjana, ma'am, for her support and guidance for making this program successful. I also extend heartfelt thanks to all the participants in the certificate program. I also extend my heartfelt thanks to the coordinator of the program, Professor Mohammad Nath Samantrai. We owe special gratitude to the faculty members and staff and other officials who have worked hard for this program. Thank you again. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I would leave. <coughs> Thank you all for uh, patiently listening to uh, Dr. Rajan Saxena. So now we'll start with the day one uh, session. We are with us, Dr. Tusar Kanpani. He is working as associate professor in the Department of Commerce, Revencha University. He has done his PhD in business administration. Uh, professor Pani has more than 28 years of working experience in the field of education, training, and corporate sectors. He has written different books on principles of business management, marketing management, medical tourism, stress management, destination marketing, vending zone business. He has also own awards, that is ET, ET now National Education Leadership Award as Best Professor of Marketing at Taj Land and Mumbai on 16 February 2013. Best Cooperative Writer Award from Honorable Chief Minister of Odisha, Sijuk Nabin Patnag in 2012. His research area includes uh, services marketing, sales and distribution management, consumer behavior, retail business management, etc. Dr. Mani, uh, under Dr. Pani, eight students have already been awarded PhD and 19 students have already been awarded MPhil. Institute and have published uh, many articles in journals of repute. He has chaired many national and international conferences and seminars. Sir, I welcome you. Sir, your topic you for this much. session is Understanding Business Environment and Dynamics. So now it is over to you. Sir. Thank you. Uh, so I will request so we'll continue up to... Sir, sir, one minute. We will continue. I will request, uh, partic sir, I will request participants to keep their questions on their chat box. They can post the questions on chat box so that we can answer. Um, sir. So we'll uh, continue up to one o'clock. Yes, sir. Or up to one. Okay. Yes. So uh, thank you very much, Professor Samantrai. Thank you, Baroda, <coughs> for uh, inviting me uh, for the first day, first session on your 15 days program on marketing strategies uh, during the difficult time. Difficult difficult times. When I say difficult time, I think we are saying it difficult because of 
the pandemic that we are experiencing. Difficult time was always there, it will be there. But, uh, and the world has witnessed uh, many difficult time, uh, difficult times. What Professor Saxena was telling since hundreds of years, hundreds of years. But human civilization will exist, business will exist, customer will exist, everybody will exist in the meantime. And we have to find some strategy to survive in this difficult time. And uh, since the entire program is on marketing management, and uh, I will uh, be the opening batsman for 15 days uh, of the 15 days program, my area is very much limited to understanding the business environment. Unless and until one understands the business environment, the strategy cannot be formulated. What is happening around us? Which forces or factors are affecting us? Unless we know, we can't formulate any kind of strategies. In the field. In last six months, we, are the, we have heard different new terms. We are using new products, which we are not using. Even see, right now, when I'm sitting here, I have also, though it is my own house, in my own home, I am sitting. Still, I am having a hand sanitizer with me. Day before yesterday, what happened? I had been to university, and yesterday I came to know two of my uh, of our class four employees of our departments have tested positive. From yesterday onward, you just can't believe the amount of stress that I have. Many of my friends are suggesting, why don't you go for a COVID test? Then I am thinking that wait for a few days. So this type of uh, difficult time we have never experienced, uh, particularly related to health issues. The disease started maybe around eight months back, so here in one ch China. Then uh, at that time we were discussing in our apartment whether it will come to India. It came to India. Then we thought whether it will come to Odisha. Yes, it came. Then we said whether it will come to our village, yes, it came. Whether it will come to our apartment, yes, it came. Whether it will come to our neighbor, yes, it has already come. Whether it will enter to our house, yes, it may enter in time. We are apprehending. So I think we have never uh, such type of fear psychosis earlier. We had difficult time, let's say, related to recession or maybe related to uh, epidemics long back, what we have heard from our seniors. These are uh, many difficult situations the human civilization has experienced and will experience. The new terms that we are, uh, last six months, I think we have got in Ravensha University more than 200 webinars. See how things have changed. Instead of coming here, you people are sitting at your home or maybe in your institutions and attending a program. I had met Professor Saxena uh, in that uh, um, award-winning ceremony at Mumbai, Tajland End, where he was there, Professor Dolkia was there. It is very difficult to get these people to this place. You have to make all arrangement. Every, uh, there are a lot of logistic uh, problems. But you see, he delivered a talk sitting at his home. I have conducted uh, uh, two PhD viva in the meantime in our department. Not to, for my two candidates and at the same time candidates from the other departments where the extra, external expert is sitting somewhere and taking the PhD viva. I think taking a better PhD viva, what he was doing when he was coming here. A student did not spend money on inviting him, no ticket, no site same visit, no fees, nothing. So in one way, things have changed. In other way, uh, some changes have also occurred in classrooms, like uh, online classes and other. Those students are facing difficulties in online classes, but uh, somewhere they have experienced that is doing they are doing better. Home. Attendance have increased. So I, I I I don't have to comment on quality of teaching and others because only students can say it. now the feedback process is being taken, and many researchers are conducting research on that. So the new terms are like life land livelihood. We came across a term called quarantine. 
social distancing, home isolation, lockdown, collapse of economy. Then, uh, then uh, let's say uh, shrinking of uh, market, lack of confidence. Then the online classes, then uh, home delivery. So these are the new things that we are experiencing. Even yesterday, I was going through an article of how the bank business has been affected. I came across a term called uh, notes on quarantine. The notes that are being uh, collected or before disbursement or something, they are also coming under quarantine. Contactless payment. Uh, like uh, now there are so, some banks are thinking about uh, with uh, so planning for branchless banking. There will be no branch at all. Everything will be online mode in Singapore, TBS banks planning for that. A new bank concept. Even giving trainings to the bank's employees through uh, webinars, how to deal with customers, how to, uh, uh, let's say, keep the cash on quarantine. All these are being uh, the new kind of things for the bankers even. In every business, we have uh, experienced the difficulties. I will show you the slide at last. First, let me just give a lecture. So at the last minute, I will show that. Every industry has affected besides few. Uh, almost all sectors have been affected. See, uh, if you talk of business, you'll from one side, you'll start from the suppliers. The suppliers will supply raw materials, semi-finished goods, finished goods of their to the manufacturing sector or industry. Then the industry will produce it. Industry will then supply the finished goods to the customer. So customer is the whole purpose of every every business. Without the existence of customers, you can't think of big business. So in one side we have cost customer, manufacturer, and in other side you have got the suppliers. But in a country like India, it's a service-based economy. Sixty percent of your GDP comes from services sectors, and. Uh, I think uh, the faculty members or research scholars, the students, those who have joined this particular training program, they will agree. Now, most of the jobs, I think a majority of the jobs are in services sectors. You can talk of IT, you can talk of uh, airlines, you can talk of insurance, banking, logistic, entertainment, anything that you can, uh, any sectors that you can think where students will be placed, obviously they are services sectors. And when I say, uh, manufacturing sector, it may be related to consumer goods or maybe uh, industrial goods. When I say consumer goods, it can be uh, fast moving consumer items, shopping goods, or specialty goods. Or in the industrial sectors, you can say talk of raw materials, you can take of uh, uh, installations, operating supplies, or you can say spare part, whatever you think of. And in service sector, basically, the wide sector and broadly divided into four class of service sector, particularly some service sectors target to your body, which takes care of your body. Some service sectors take care of your mind. Mind. Some service sectors takes care of your positions or properties or belongingness. And rest service sectors takes care of your information. So, service sector targeting to people's people's body, targeting to people's body, people's mind, then the positions or properties and uh, information. So, entire all your jobs will be limited to these areas. And uh, what we market, we market basically products, services, concepts, ideas, experiences, people, so many things. So out of these, which organizations have been seriously affected because of this COVID-19? Food industry will continue. Whatever it may be, any situation, there may be flood, there may be fire, there may be war, there may be pandemic like corona, whatever it may be, every day morning people will take food till night. So when they're not allowed to go outside, so 
take away food from home. Suppose you are going to restaurant, restaurants were seriously affected. When you are not allowed to move, transport sectors were very much severely affected. In the initial stage, people were threatened, people were beaten, they were trained not to move outside, and gradually they learned. And there was a debate between life and livelihood, as a result of which government had no other options. They had to allow people to go outside. Let them uh, first we get trained how to take care of themselves. They trained you through lockdown, shutdown. They trained you. Now they, uh, they are allowed that you go everywhere, anywhere. And day by day, you'll find the number of corona patients and increase, and we have to live with that. Now the conclusion came that either you have to think about the life or think about the livelihood. When you talk of livelihood, various activities, and within that, the business activities comes. Now, when the GDP rate has gone down, when the government is not able to pay salary, like Professor Saxena was telling that uh, uh, people are not giving salary to the employees. Yes, you just think about a simple example. Uh, few days back, I met a person who was taking my children uh, from star LKG to their college level through his process to, to travel here nearby. I found that man on the road. Then I said, how are you now? Then he asked me, sir, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to bring some uh, groceries. Now, why don't you take from me? Then I said, are you into grocery business? Now, now, what, should I, what should I do, sir? I had around 25 buses, around 20 to 25 school buses, autos of different sizes. I had appointed around 25 drivers. Now schools are closed. I have taken loans from the bank, and uh, most of the drivers are were staying with me because I have very time bounding duty. So I, I used to keep the drivers with me, though I am not paying good amount. But now everybody is unemployed. Think about the esplanade. Thousands of people have lost their jobs. Those are their salesmen. Those who are into delivery. Those who are into let's say tailoring. Those who are into security. Everybody in the distress. Even in teaching jobs, I, I know some of my colleagues who are working in different private management institute, 50% salary has been reduced, 30% salary cut. Somebody, some have lost their jobs. They said once the admission will be normal, student will join. So education industry is also being affected like anything. Dave, yesterday, High Court has given a uh, verdict that uh, parents association, college, school teachers association and uh, let the stakeholder decide the, what will be the school fee because parents are not able to pay the school fee and uh, bankers they have also problem they are also in a very terrified condition anytime the government take a decision of when waivers anytime they may take up agricultural loan waivers they are flooding different floating different kind of schemes and all these things so they are also at very distressed level airlines hotels experiencing around 70% uh, uh, negative growth. Automobile sectors, around 50% negative growth. Construction and retail sectors, they were experiencing around 50% negative growth. Textiles, 50% negative growth. Because they are not open. Textile industry is also affected. Freight and logistic sectors have also affected. Metal, mining, oil, gas, industries, power industry, then the consumer and the retail industry, chemical industry. Even IT sectors have also experienced very less amount of growth, less negative growth, around minus 10%. And uh, even uh, we are talking of pharma doing well, but most of the raw materials for pharma sectors come from foreign countries. They have also been affected. They are also severely affected. Even uh, you are talking of mobile phone, key one way the business is good, but at the same time the taxation has increased and they are also not doing well. And even telecom sectors are also experiencing problems. Okay, some some sectors are doing, to some extent they are better, like IT's software development sectors, they are doing better. Insurance sector, particularly in case of health insurance, to some extent they are uh, doing good, but most of the orders are coming through online nowadays. Netflix, Amazon, Disney, uh, to some extent they are doing good because people are not going to theater. They are watching movie here. Then the door delivery, particularly food item, medicine, grocery, uh, you can say tomato, swiggy, 
they are doing uh, business now to some extent and e-commerce is now have just started doing well some other sectors which are facing problems let's say sports and entertainment sector mind of customers the uh, british uh, england premier league la liga all these being affected ipl match was affected so even your entertainment uh, your kapil sharma's laughter show was not doing well your most of the uh, tv actors serial act- actors tv serial actors film stars they all were sitting idle and just few months uh, one month back they have started even i was uh, involved in a small serial here and uh, one episode was already uh, shooting was over then after that when they approached then uh, i said no no i i don't have time i can't go i can't take the risk but anyway industry is going you might have seen kapil sharma shows the audience were sitting behind the uh, let's say archana they all are not, not actual audience they are the photographers even uh, football players were playing on the ground they are playing without any audience so just to encourage the players artificial crowds the sounds have been created so that the players will also feel that is yes, my uh, club members we are our fan they are encouraging us so sounds have been created i said uh, you can't stop the show will be affected definitely the environment uh, so this difficult time will be there but the show must go on the business must go on so you have to find certain strategy you see the same episode of kapil sharma laughter show started but in a different way because uh, you see the with the laughter there must be some clapping you must see that uh, the background must be full with audience so they have done that only these are placards and uh, sound is there may not be as natural as but still the show is going on likewise the players are playing in empty stadium same competition is there only instead of audience but audience are sitting at home instead of going to that stadium enjoying the live match their live match is being enjoyed sitting at home so in one way uh, like a balloon when there is a pressure from one side there is uh, the pressure will be exerted in another side so some industries are facing severe problems some industries are facing let's say they are also getting ground and gradually things must improve and will be acquainted with that this time management education has already been started to online mode same exercise even the if the interaction and ragging is going over uh, let's say in in your online mode even your seniors instruct you please get up around 2 o'clock come to your laptop come in front of your laptop answer these questions you just get clean set i don't want to name the institution i know they are uh, they, they said they are very premier institute you have to uh, is um cat then you have to sit in interview then you will get those and the rest of the senior want to interact they want to make you smart even in the late night they all say you must come with a clean shave get formal ready so they are finding in a innovative way in the this generation so particularly when we talk of marketing tips has changed a lot we were doing business in our village then we went to state level national level and international level the lpg uh, syndrome liberalization privatization globalization all these affected us in time to time so when we are talking of any business basically i said now what product or service do you do and uh, how it is going to add or create value to your uh, customers or for your business that you have to think of and uh, particularly uh, when i talk of uh, 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 like professor saxon was taking uh, telling regarding internal marketing external marketing interactive marketing all these marketing aspects particularly related to service sectors business uh, maybe starting from supplier side to the manufacturer side to customer side or service provider to customers you'll find uh, there are different business models are there different major business model operates within in between the suppliers manufacturer and customer see there are 
some organizations who are only involved in manufacturing manufacturing model of business they only manufacture forget about the rest some people they only believe in distribution aspect we are distribution we are dealer we need not bother about manufacturing but you see manufacturers manufacturers they are also affected by distributor distributors or dealers they are also affected by manufacturing point in terms of quality in terms of timely delivery but when you talk of piece piece uh, business model so manufacturer model distributor model retailers model some institutions are only they are into retailing like amazon and others then uh, franchise model business are there like tonal sodas brick and mortar business we all see e commerce uh, model brick and click model they are into both brick and mortar model at the same time click both online and offline then uh, there are some in organizations to 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 believe in only low pricing model nickel and dime model there are some model called the freemium models uh, they basically internet companies they give something free and uh, once you look for something more then you they will charge money from you subscription model liner model like netflix and others aggregator model in aggregator motor waters they don't have any hotels they don't have any car like uber and uh, let's say oyo and all this they are also doing business online uh, uh, business advertisements sector like youtube and other doing advertisement then uh, data licensing or data selling uh, type of modeling agency based modeling like your lintas or the advertising agency and all these then uh, affiliate uh, let's say commission based modeling drop shipping model they don't have the product they don't keep inventory they only just uh, take the product and drop at a point network marketing uh, networking business that you know then uh, sometimes some organizations they are only into crowd sourcing uh, they use different mode to get the uh, customers peer to peer no third party interventions they give a platform where the customer and the seller will meet like your olx model p2p model blockchain uh, high touch low touch or like automation um, sorry auction based razor blade method blade razor model so there are different kind of business models are there so in all these business model whatever you do whether you distribute whether you uh, produce so you are affected by certain factors some factors are within your control some factors are not within your control but any business, every business organization has certain characteristics certain characteristics so business will be basically affected by external forces this is you can say business is totality totality of external business external forces sorry external forces external forces will affect specific and general forces some forces will affect your industry only not others some factors will affect your organization only not the entire industry when i say industry and organization they are different automobile industry but with that you can take hyundai or kiju one organization hotel industry may fare it organization so some factors affect the entire organization entire industry and uh, these are also again the you say business environment is interrelated interrelated because see if some customers are now more and more customers are becoming diabetic so there is demand for diet coke there is demand for sugar free sugar free sweets earlier there are no sugar free sweets in you can say sweet stores now they have so interrelated relatedness if there will be demand then the product will come then the business will totally dynamic in nature it is not a closed uh, environment totally dynamic if technology will change business will change taste will change business will change government policy will change that will also affect us. so dynamic open it is affected by the business environmental factors then let's look at the complexity business is quite complex nowadays particularly the film industry the fashion technology industry it industry the 
sorry uh, they they are under quite uncertain industries you never know what will happen uncertain and uh, complex you can say social eco econo eco eco sorry economical condition technological conditions uh, factors that affects business in a complex so again uh, business is quite relativity the technology that you find in japan may not find in india what you find in india you better find in pakistan so again from country to country those things vary in total if, if I, whatever i have discussed that the factors are affecting the all these factors that i said are affecting the business in general and it is bound to affect so within that what you have to do you have to make your environmental analysis when you make your environmental analysis you know your strength we you know your weaknesses you know the opportunities uh, lie for the business and what sort of threats we are going to experience and on the basis of that on the basis of this analysis you have to find your business strategy you have to make your strategy so that survive why we make strategy they if there is no competition no need to form a strategy suppose you are the only one player you are the only one student in a class so you are the topper when there is competition you have to form a strategy in business uh, particularly the word strategy has come from different sectors when two teams uh, go for let's say fighting or war they make strategy how to defeat others you all might have seen ufc and boxing Uh, some people say very defensive strategy some are very aggressive strategy sometimes because of aggressive strategy you fail sometimes because of defensive strategy also you fail you all might have seen that nowadays in uh, football or you can say cricket teams are coming with uh, for 11 players there are 11 coaches there is earlier there is no concept of batting coach bowling coach fielding coach then there are uh, um, physical fitness or you will find for 11 players there are around 30 to 40 trainers or you can say motivators so many uh, things are being done it is only happening because of competition and competition is rising because of the demand from the customers demand from the customers so you have to survive in corporate competition earlier for example when we talk of marketing it evolution started from marketer stage the entire it simply exchange of essential commodities among neighbor and neighboring villages within that limit limited area we are offering the business then come the money economy then industrial evolution stage came industrial evolution just mechanization of everything took place and uh, all of a sudden what happened the supply exceeded the demand once supply exceeded the demand then there is competition and as a result of competition every organization try to formulate certain strategy how to get my customers earlier customer didn't have a position it was simply limited to the sellers whatever they produce you have to take you all might have experienced uh, i don't know whether most of you are looks very younger in our time if you go for a cup of tea and we say that can you prepare a cup of tea no 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 i have prepared the cup of tea in the morning just i have kept it. if you want to take you take if you don't like you go but now you go i want a cup of tea yes sir without sugar yes sir kada kona chahiye yes sir can you add little coffee powder yes sir i am standing there bring it yes sir acha paisa bhi 5 din ka baad lena yes sir because getting customer nowadays is not that difficult so but serving the customers in a customized manner is more difficult retention of customer has become more difficult we are talking of customer relationship management nowadays and crm is not only customer relationship management it is also called cost and return management if you involve some cost then you will get the return it is also known as continuous relationship management continuous relationship management creative relationship management i'll just give a small example of how business was affected in uh, let's say 2001 we had a recession during 2008 people but in 2001 what happened the world trade centers 
debacle had taken place. And as a result of which, Muslim peoples were severely beaten, manhandled in US and Europe. Wherever Muslim people were found, they were seriously beaten in those countries. And at that point of time, you all might uh, be knowing there is a uh, renowned hospital in Bangkok called Burundrad. B U M U R U N G R A D. You can just check it in your website, Google. Bumrundred. B U M U R U N G R A D. Bumrundred Hospital. Just see the hospital. It was about to close during 2001. It was not doing well. Uh, it's, a, it's a good hospital, but it was not doing well. It was about to close. See, problem occurred in USA. Problem occurred in for the Muslim people in USA and uh, Europe. And most of the Muslim patients were going to USA. Uh, you can take it as a custody also. They were going to USA for treatment because best possible treatment are given. And those hospitals are JCI accredited hospital, Joint Commission International Hospitals. In India, we have got Indraposta Apollo Hospital, JCI accredited hospital. So people who pay more, they expect best services. So since uh, most of the people in Dubai or you can say in these areas, uh, Muslim dominated areas, they have money. So for treatment, they used to go to those nations. I have written a book on medical tourism. See, you go to Escort Hospital, go to most of the corporate hospital in Delhi, in our, sorry, Bangalore, Delhi, you find Hyderabad, how many patients are coming from outside. So many patients are coming. Let's say for, even for your Ayurvedic treatment or others, they are coming here. So Muslim people didn't go there. So all of a sudden, this hospital grabbed that opportunity. So see, problem happened somewhere else. But this hospital grabbed the opportunity. What they did, they trained all the employees of that hospital about the fundamentals of Islamic. How the food should be, how the room should be. They just kept the photograph of Mecca and Medina for certain rooms where the Muslim patients will come. They even make a uh, let's say very can say visa facilities. Uh, how it can be user friendly. The hospital is just like a five star hotel. You just check it in uh, just after the bus. Just like a five star hotel. You will find Starbucks. You will find McDonald's. You will find the lounge very astonishing. Patient is a patient, but what about the attendants? Attendants must enjoy the environment. The doctors are trained in thirty five different languages. Interpreters are there. You have, as a patient, you fix, uh, see, these are the strategies. So, customized strategies. I want to talk to this doctor in this language. So, that facility is there. Chinese, even uh, people, though China is a very advanced country, so they are also coming here. Dragon concept. Then, uh, Japanese patients are coming because they are, they are also provided Mandira Spa. For Muslim people, there is prayer rocks, photographs of Makkah and Medina. They, Kitchen uh, people are trained with the test of Islamic people. So you have to be customized. As a result of which, they are doing wonderful business now. The hospital which was about to close is doing wonderful business right now. My friend Arthababu is there. Very good. So uh, things uh, are changing at a much faster rate. That's why. We are using this term called marketing, unless we have said market. Market means people say, I'm going to this market, and now that is not a market. Market means they are the buyer. Who buy? Any organization buy or any individual buy? Even for organization, individual buy. So when I say marketing, we just add ING with market. With any word you add ING, is a continuous process. It's a continuous process. And where there is a continuous process, always there will be some difficulties. See, those barbers, for example, you want to go to dress your hair, style your hair. The barber asks you, sir, what do you want? How to dress your hair? When you go to even stitch your shirt or pant, the tailor asks you. If they don't ask, if they don't Dress your hair as per your test, as per your requirement. Obviously, you are not going to go there. Next time, you will not go there. So it's a continuous process of identifying 
the changing need and wants of the customer and satisfy then we came to the stage of delightness because environment said yes now you have to delight the customer customer should feel proud of using your product now the delight delight delightness stage is over now they say no no satisfaction no delightness who can surprise the customer who can exceed the expectation of customers customer when joins any program for example in simple class also when teacher comes students come with expectations and uh, when you join any institutions you also come with certain expectations so when you go to a retail outlet you go with expectations when you go inside the aircraft you go with certain expectations that yes i must reach within 2 hours from bhubaneswar to delhi the aerostat should be like this like that when i end go to retail outlet i express what so earlier you didn't had express counter for example retail outlet suppose you have gone for just simply for a pouch of milk one pouch only half liter but if you found there is a long queue people are standing with a large bucket with buckets of products you cannot waste your time because a transaction must be a valuable one when i say value value is a psychological term it is a comparison between cost and benefit what cost you incur against that what benefit you get you see in every transaction for example you are listening here so you have your own expectation you are incurring cost you are sitting somewhere when you say what are the cost you give you give your time as a cost physical cost sitting here sitting there in a chair maybe comfortable or non comfortable sensory cost if there is a uh, air condition room is okay if non air condition then there is a problem if there is a heavy temperature then there is a problem sensory cost physical cost time is a cost financial cost and psychological torture cost sometimes some uh, even going to a mall or somewhere or doing business of itself is very psychological torturing type uncertainty so customer always try to compare what cost is incurring against that what benefit that you are getting so always it is a challenging factor for the business to provide value based transactions because customer expect to derive value from every transaction so now the see it has shifted from satisfaction to delightness delightness to surprising the customer who can surprise the customer who can give the best that's what i'm afraid of as a, a many indian companies they're afraid of can we give the same product that a german company can give can an american company give see all of a sudden uh, yesterday let's say uh, which uh, uh, chinese app is being banned pubg pubg chant 17 crores people were associated with that even i've seen my children those who are doing engineering even during night 2 o'clock uh, they will be shouting I, i don't know how do they play i i don't know how to play but they used to shout gola gola mar 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 dhar so you see yesterday it stopped so it is not simply stopping or giving a uh, let's say permanent exit to a business app it's just striking hard in the heart of china striking hard when you rejected so many apps all of a sudden it's just you can say straight slap in the face of the china so that we think patriotic feelings comes so these things affects also business like anything business like anything so we'll be coming to that those factors so now business require is uh, basically business is coined around two words efficiency and responsiveness efficiency and, so business must be look for efficiency when i say efficiency do whatever you like but with low cost when i say responsiveness give what customer want so in one way you say give the best with low cost very contractive contractive very difficult to do that when we are competing in a world uh, uh, sorry world around the type of human resource we are having the type of technology we are having the type of uh, 
infrastructure and other things we are having. It's very difficult to compete with a nation like China or America and other things. It's very difficult. So we are experiencing difficulties, but sometimes it happens. We have to do all these things. We have to do, we have to reject those things. Most of the medicine, let's say components coming from China, most of the, let's say, almost all top class mobile phones, so you can say laptops or any electronic gadget, even four wheeler, the manufacturing centers were in China. So now because of this situation, uh, see, entire world is at one site and few countries like China, they are not signed. So their business will obviously be affected. They are not predicted because before, uh, let's say, uh, January or before March, they have not experienced this type of problem. You know, what they did, they just congregated soldiers and there was a bit exchange between the soldiers. Some people died. We don't know how many people died from that site. But you see, that all of a sudden ignited the democrat, uh, sorry, you can say patriotic feelings that our soldiers died there on the border. We will not use that products. So these small, small things can affect business like anything. But so uh, some factors are within our control. Some factors are not within our control. So in between your efficiency and responsiveness, how to give best and how to give best with a low cost, how can you reduce the price? It's a very difficult task for the business managers. I have just given a list of around 30 business model, you may be fit into any model. Maybe you are a manufacturer, maybe you are a retailer, maybe you are a franchisor, maybe you are a logistic company, maybe you are a aggregator, maybe you are a online company into e-business, but you are going to be affected by that. So which factors are within your control? We call them internal factors. Internal factors, they are within our control. Like our own employees, they are within our control. Now, the bank, suppose all of a sudden, we are going for online classes. So our internal factors are our own teachers. So our teachers don't know how to teach in Google platform, how to do it in Zoom platform. I especially, I, I, I didn't have any idea about Google. It was a compulsion, so I have to be trained. I learned from my students, I learned from my children. Right now, I am also learning sitting in front of you so earlier, I was just, uh, when uh, for the first time, Keith, uh, Keith University said, said, we'll have an online webinar. I said, I don't know. And I said, it's not a problem. You ask to your children. Then I found it is comfortable. I know how to open, but I will speak. Then I suppose how to upload the PPT, I will take their help. So, so after, let's say, one or two instances, I learned it. Learned it. I'm taking, let's say, class on online mode. I tell my students, in Google platform, you just give me the link, I'll just click and I'll be in. So it's a compulsion. You have to learn it. So some factors, suppose your employees are your internal factors. So they're not trained, you can train. They're not skilled, you can uh, just enhance their skill. Suppose your own uh, non-marketing departments, production, finance, uh, HR, so there within your control, you can bring certain changes within your organization. Some factors which are not at all within your control. I said internal factors are within your control. External factors are not within your control. Which are external factors? They are of two types. External factors, external macro factors, and external micro factors. When I say macro, they are a bit bigger, bigger factor. Micro means smaller factors. Is not big and small. This is which are macro factors. The macro factors affects the entire industry, and micro factors affect one organization. I had given example of macro factors. Let's say affects the entire industry means hotel industry. Micro factor macro factors affects industry, but micro factors affects one organization. Let's say Mayfair. Something happened. Suppose the supplier of Mayfair didn't supply, they didn't supply quality raw material. So the food quality of Mayfair will not be. It is not going to affect all the hotels in India or in Odisha. Not going to happen. So your external factors are not within your control, but some factors are not totally within your control. So much. 
partially controlled. So internal factors are totally within your control. External are two types, external are macro and micro. I will show the sides at last. So your external macro factors basically affects a lot, like social and cultural factors, technological factors, economical factors, political factors, legal factors, international factors, natural factors. These factors affect the business like anything. When I say social factors, uh, you can say, uh, we'll, uh, we, we'll remember it in one word, the step in. We say pestil, step in. So social and uh, cultural factors. So when I talk of society, social factors, what is your view about ourselves? How do we, what is our view about ourselves? What do you think about others? During uh, this corona time, see, uh, many people like Sunu Sud and others, they, are helping, they were helping lots of migrant laborers. They were helping not only migrant labor, those who are into, they were into troubles, they were helping. So what do you think about others? Sometimes earlier, see, this pandemic, this coronavirus is going to uh, make uh, lots of impact on your, you can say, social factors, social environment. Your thinking process will be changed. Earlier, we were telling we are social animal. Now, this social distancing. See, even we are in the same city with, with within a distance of one kilometer, we have not made our relations for last six months. We have not gone to their house. We have not gone to their houses. No. Even we are staying in one apartment, we are not going there. We can't take the risk. So, what we think about our society? That is going to change. It has affected your social functions. Even in case of death, 20 people can't be assembled. The marriage is being held uh, with 50%, sorry, 50 or 20, 30 people like that. There are some instances or examples where somebody has shown his power in Barampur. A hotel owner went to Mayfair with a, <laughs> with a big bang, and uh, both uh, the groom and the groom's Father was behind the bar and they were sent into jail and the Mayfair people were given notice. Uh, likewise, Mayfair or Taj, I, I have not exactly remembered. I had read in newspaper. So if this type of news comes, then again you will get trouble. So the social distancing, what you think about others. Now see if those people, people who are working as a med servant, now uh, people have started paying them for the last two or three months to join even if they had not come. You have to think about them also because you can't live on isolation. So the social environment, like view about ourselves, view about others, view about uh, the organizations. So that those things is going to affect the business. Or uh, what is your view on society? Uh, men say what to eat, how to dress, how to live. Uh, then um, whether we live a simple way, whether we go for gorgeous, like we have got different kind of people. Those are makers, those are changers, those are escapers, they will be there. So social factors will also affect. Think about the quality and others. These are affecting business, quality products, fiber content products, cholesterol free products, looking for quality and others. So these are going to affect the business like anything. Then technological factors, particularly technologies, Technology has changed the business language. Information technology, database, barcoding, internet, and at the same time, now uh, you can say there are different courses have come in uh, different IAMs and other institutions, data analytics, data analytics. Suppose uh, uh, a retail outlet wants to know at what time or what period of a month people are coming more. Suppose customer X is coming to our store, store in a month, how many time is coming? In a year, how many time is coming? In which type of brand is interested? Because, because of barcode and others, they have got the detailed information about the customers, customers. So some people are watching you. For example, you might have seen in YouTube or in Facebook, suppose you want, uh, you are interested to see only, let's say boxing. For example, I love to see boxing, for example. So suppose I have browsed for boxing, 
So next time when I'll open, all of a sudden you'll find there is a fight between Mike Tyson and uh, let's say Evander Holyfield. Suppose you are interested to see only the fight won by Mike Tyson. So they will show you those fights only. Suppose they will show some, let's say, <coughs> game where Mike Tyson were brutally defeated for five times or all losses of Mike Tyson. You are not interested to see all these things. Just you have just um, crossed over. So in that case, they will not show you that. Suppose you are interested to show some, uh, let's say, Jatra comedy and other things, they will show those things. So whatever you are doing, these are being analyzed by Shambhi from here. And it is only possible because of information technology. They are doing it. Like e-commerce, let's say uh, e-commerce, taxation, then your uh, import, export, employment level, productivity, the economic factors also affects like anything, your income, because people don't buy, money buy. So what is, what is the amount of your disposable income, disposable income? discretionary income. So that play a very important role. How, how much you are earning? See, a simple decision by the government that, uh, let's say, uh, there will be no freezing of DA. There will be salary cut. That is going to automatically affect others. When the, the, the declaration of shutdown and lockdown for a specific period, let's say 21 days lockdown, all of a sudden you'll find there is a big rush in the market. Suppose they announce there is a uh, so down in so and so time, all of a sudden there is a, a hike of demand in market. People will go around even at nine o'clock, ten o'clock night to purchase things. That there will be lockdown for so and so many days. There is a rumor also that play very rumor. There is a simple rumor that any time the government take a decision that you can't withdraw money in this corona pandemic period, and all people <laughs> even reserve heavy cash. At their home. So the small, small social issues or economic issues, this also affects the business because people don't buy product, money buy the product. Because you see, many people are around, it was saying that there are about two core uh, jobs have been lost. Lost means they don't have income. Or most of the people have lost salary up to 50%. Those are jobless, 30% salary cut. Means their buying power has been cut. As a result of which, it is very difficult time for the marketeer to sell their products. Now, again, uh, it will revive, but it will take some time. Even job market is also having lots of problem. It will revive. Of course, there will be some strategy by the government, by the industries, so that things will revive. They like a political factor, I was telling you, step in, social, cultural. Uh, like uh, culture play a very important role, culture. Simple definition of culture is since we have taken birth till we die, we follow some rules and regulations framed by our ancestors. And uh, we generate those things from time to time. We transfer from time to, from one generation to another generation. So what we'll eat, how to raise, even at the time of, uh, let's say that whether it'll be buried or burnt, what type of products will be used, uh, at the time of death, at the time of burn, at the time of other rituals. So these are being decided by culture. But remember, culture will change. Culture cannot be static. We are being affected by the culture of other nations. So, see, their advertisements, their products, their products quality, we used to follow them. They also follow us. Culture cannot be static. So cultures also affect business. You all might have uh, remembered when uh, <coughs> uh, Maggie was banned for few months. Maggie, a product of Switzerland, uh, was a very, you can say it's a very poor product in uh, every household, particularly for uh, their children. The mothers had a big solutions for the children in the name of Maggie. The Ma when Maggie was stopped or banned for few months, it was a big problem for the housewives or particular owners. They raised voice. Without Maggie, we can't run. You see, <clears throat> right now, for example, when the, our children are not going to outside, we just stop them, don't buy from others. 
uh, don't oh, sorry don't buy the food from outside they resist how long will tolerate how long will tolerate we have not uh, placed any order since last three months we want to have the mother says we i will prepare the roll i will prepare the let's say chili chicken no no you can't have the same taste like uh, what we get from swan places so they lots of pressure on the housewife and you ask all the housewives are sitting at home or you can say working ladies who are sitting at home even they are in the office work they have to think about the children because children are at home and uh, most of the same serials are repeated games are closed so you have to find some other way to engage them even uh, day care centers are closed let's say play schools have been closed so this has changed the social set of social set of even those who you might have read, uh, read so many things in facebook and whatsapp so many interesting things even the type of profession we don't have you don't know you might have done you might have got the hair of your children a hair of your brother father mother like that you are bound to do that these are some of the way that you will find now let's say earlier when you were not doing that now you have started cutting the hair of your children okay so they have also accepted it they have accepted okay it looks good make bhi cut make you cut like that and we have tried in a different way to that because we don't have any other options so lots of social changes economical changes political changes at the same time technological changes have also occurred and technology has a, let's say, uh, uh, suppose you don't want to take food from the let's say uh, in a hotel you don't like to have food from the hand of a boy so there are robotics nowadays if you are there are so many hotels in bangalore they have already introduced hydrate they have already introduced robotics robot will come 100% sanitized will carry the food will come to your bed you go to hotel instead of a bell boy you'll find the robot will take you to the hotel room and uh, will provide you a standardized uh, solutions for your problem standardized solutions so these are so certain things which you would like to discuss with you uh, i think uh, you had allotted me up to 1 o'clock i should speak uh, we'll have some question answer session so that uh, in the process of question answer i will uh, add something more uh, let me just show the uh, slides uh, for one or two minutes whatever i have discussed i have kept everything in the slide just wait Sorry. Is it visible? Professor Samantha, is it visible? Professor Samantha, is it visible? Hmm? Is it visible, Professor Samantha? Seven essential characteristics of business. Yes, sir, it is visible now. Totality, visible. totality of external forces. Yes, sir, visible. Yes, now. specific and general forces. Right. Thank you. So there are. Uh, I have discussed these factors like global competition, demanding customers, customers. are uh, demanding from time to they want something new all the time discontent went with the customer this is biggest problem like uh, see uh, my father had uh, one pain for 30 years or 35 years he was using the same bicycle for so many years but our children are changing their pain every day they want something new demanding customers then the manufacturing excellence that is the demand so when we are talking of product excellence now we are talking of manufacturing every mode should everything should be error free because you are competing with the best technology in the world so being a indian manufacturer you have no excuse because these are next generation children they will never bother with the producer with the manufacturer they want quality then new product 
when coming in other end you have to you have no other option you have to change yourself so uh, then changing workforce i'm saying so earlier though let's say industry the employees were quite uh, you can say loyal they were quite sincere they were just treated like labor sorry machine but now the employees are very demanding this generation millennial especially you see those are baby boomer stages like people of 60 58 now they are going to retire they will listen whatever the boss says but next generation students sorry employees they will not listen they will quit they will uh, uh, even uh, shout at the boss yes i am right even uh, we know our boss is wrong still we listen yes so changing workforce then we'll find uh, next generation employee will come to your organization even if somebody will come to your store he will come with his pet pedo friendly flexibility type of organizations you have to allow the cat you have to allow the dog from that with that he will he or she will come to your organizations then uh, your you can say uh, because of this pandemic suppose you don't have uh, job provide to job uh, for 8 hours so flexi hours you come for 2 hours or come for 3 hours so now instead of, if you are paying 50% you are paying uh, let's say 40% they can work for flexi hours so changing workforce their uh, <clears throat> attitude their uh, upbringing their uh, <clears throat> way of working they are more techno savvy more knowledgeable that you have to accept so changing technology then the new type of competitors every day new startups all these are coming and these factors like international related trade blocks trade blocks see uh, earlier the relations between india and china uh, once we had a meeting with professor v k nambiar he said my name is v vijay v the relationship with china was at the top of v then it came down the time of rajiv gandhi then again uh, sorry sorry it went off and again it came down at the time of vajpai when uh, we had gone for pokhran test then again uh, it was revived again now it has gone down so now see we have got lot of uh, see all this business, business or war whatever it taking it is if you, if you go deep into it is only related to business why people other part of the world want to help us why japan is interested in india why us is interested in india because 130 crores of population and the highest number of youth when you say youth youth means everything youth means shoes youth means books youth means spec youth means cap youth means jean pants shirt trouser what is a four wheeler mobile phone laptop there is tremendous demand so everybody is interested in that so worldwide you will find there are some trade blocks so some uh, similar minded obviously business is there in between because of business there are a lot of alliances are like that like you all might have heard about nepta apta sapta asian countries sar countries so there is an association of different countries so trade blocks are there that is also affecting our business so sometimes embargo policy let's say taxation policy import duty then restrictions of uh, let's say quantity restrictions of uh, let's say um, quantity to be exported or imported all these decisions are taken uh, which affects the business then discontinue technology all of a sudden you'll find um, some model will be out so all the models by 2015 15 years back will be let's say will go now we'll have a hybrid model next day another model will come so you have to analyze the environment and you have to keep yourself ready that which technology is going to be discontinued then changing customer need already i have discussed customers are changing from time to time and you have to take care of it environment concern now particularly automobile industry uh, big manufacturing sectors they have lots they will have to go for, um, very much environmental concerns then the merger and acquisitions are taking place all over the world even the acquisition or total selling within i don't know whether you have read it or not Uh, uh, big bazaar had faced a lot of problem in the meantime for future, future flow he should be on his future flow now these are being taken over by reliance people they paid 24700 some odd crores and they took away a big bazaar now it belongs to reliance so big players they will not allow you to live nowadays 
if you want to live then you have to think about a limited market and grow you can't compete with those big players very difficult you need to have government support of them then uh, excess capacity if you have then that management is in. structural changes are taking place in organizations because uh, hierarchy and other things are creating lot of problem in business decisions deregulation global competitions so your business is affected by that and uh, when i said in the very first uh, sorry you know very fast uh, hour so i said ki the factors are of internal and external controllable and uh, uh, factors uncontrollable partially controllable and uh, totally uh, affects the entire industry which are not at all controllable already i have mentioned like your organization structure production finance human issues r and d marketing mixes there are internal factors and your external factors are uh, demography economic condition social cultural political legal technological competition nature of course international factors shareholders creditors suppliers market intermediaries and customers they are though external they are partially controllable or semi controllable social factor i discussed here diversity demographical changes that is occurring family what you view about ourselves view about others view about the organizations what you view about the society that affects internet database data analytics online business digital marketing robotics and barcode economic factor like income socio economic profile aspirations and expectations of people for quality and others what will happen they want to know about the future they are very choosy Uh, even during this recession period people love to bargain uh, economic distribution taxation employment level currency these matters political ruling party or opposition party who is the ruling party whether they have majority or not if you have a majority whether you are with see most of the uh, political decisions uh, are depend upon whether you have a strong ruling party or not then uh, whether opposition party is quite weaker <laughs> or whether they have existence or not that that is very important then the foreign policy of the company people says why the prime minister is moving around so many times we, when we don't know we basically uh, say like that this is the reason there is a lot of uh, why china is creating lot of problem because most of 70% of its crude oil go through indian oceans that's why when uh, this prime minister came to power first he had a meeting in hotel mayfair where almost all uh, small small nations in indian oceans those were they were invited to go to may fair around 40 50 con- nations ambassadors ministers they were invited because at that time manohar parikar and uh, sushma swaraj all these people had come just to have good relations with those nations because most 70% of the crude oil go through that places so you have to keep relations with them you have to go to these nations you have to go to france <laughs> see because of We, you may be in a pandemic situation because at that same time to make you more weak there is a war like situation and for war like situation you spend 54000 crore to get a few uh, let's say aircraft and uh, see movement of troop from one place to other place all these are money and uh, uh, so your trade policy your environmental law, your international relationship and business laws matter a lot international factor like i said trade blocks alliance your foreign policy labor supply supply chain reliability raw material availability that all affects the business share mm-hmm. sure. hmm? yes okay with this i uh, completed my presentation because you have already listened to professor rajan sakshina for quite long time and again uh, there will be a lot of psychological torture cost for the participants to listen movement thank you professor samantrai now if you have any questions from the participants i will like to answer thank you sir a <coughs> uh, request participant you can uh, ask some of the questions or you can write down in the chat box so that we can ask sir one question uh, from subrat singh pratiyar uh, hmm. he says he asks in this environment what are the emerging research areas in sales and distribution management in sales and distribution, distribution management 
सेल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मैनेजमेंट यस अच्छा तो हाँ इसी यू कैन मेक अ स्टडी इट्स लिमिटेड टू सेल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओनली यस सर हाँ व्हाट इज सेल्स रिसर्च एरियाज रिसर्च एरियाज इमर्जिंग रिसर्च एरिया अच्छा इमर्जिंग रिसर्च एरिया नाउ यू कैन मेक अ रिसर्च ऑन लेट्स से ऑनलाइन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑनलाइन सप्लाईज लॉजिस्टिक एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट रोल ऑफ रिटेलर रोल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स और यू कैन से इंफॉर्मेशन एज ए ड्राइवर ऑफ ड्राइवर्स लॉजिस्टिक एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट वी डिस्कस अबाउट इन्वेंट्री वी डिस्कस अबाउट लेट से फैसिलिटीज लाइक वेयर हाउसेस गोडाउन देन distributor retailer inventory loading unloading that is called material handling so many things we discuss so you can take us any area of that role of uh, dealer retailers or you can work on like i said now new generation uh, business model like uh, brick and mortar model you can work on brick and clips uh, brick and clip model or you can go for nickel and dime model or uh, likewise uh, you can work only on transportation side you can work on logistic part you can work on inventory part you can work on uh, channel conflict um, area so there are no, so many areas if you have my number you can uh, uh, talk to me personally if you want to do phd this is work i can guide thank you yes is yes, any question sir another question uh, from swetalina mandal uh, as, uh, as you said the banning of chinese apps and products we mm. create patriotic feelings but mm. won't it create a backlash on products that have yet to have an alternative Mm, alternative. Uh, yesterday I was listening. Yesterday I was listening. See, these products were not there earlier. Uh, I think Professor Samantha will agree. In our time, uh, we had these. No, it was not there. No, we had only one Nokia one one zero four. One one zero four model like that. <laughs> See, uh, this generation people are so discontent. Just uh, you can't just imagine. They are. Uh, changing their mobile phone, I think every year, every year. Uh, uh, once I had been to Sai International School, I asked uh, the children, "How many of you have five mobile phones?" So four to five students raised their hands. I have five. They 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 thought it's a matter of proud. Then I said, "How many four?" I asked, "How many of you have one mobile phone?" I didn't find a single one which have been one. At least two and above. So. Uh, they are being addicted okay they are wasting their time um, but uh, if we give this type of comment then the next generation children may they say they are obsolete they are uh, very orthodox like that they are doing well uh, we don't know how to use this but at the same time start increase their reflex that increase their decision making ability they say but uh, see i said now it is just a strike in the face of the chinese government so like you people have banned so many chinese product during the diwali time you didn't use their crackers you didn't their light so there what yesterday one of my student was a who is a expert in this area was telling in you know, utv some product he was saying he is working on this area particularly in the game and others apps he said there are some new indian products are coming but uh, i hope uh, the Uh, children will not be satisfied with that they need uh, apps of that quality and others But i hope uh, the next generation engineers they will try to bring iits and uh, all technical institution they must try to bring out some apps and there are expert i think uh, they will come up with some solutions that will come But all of a sudden, for example, uh, don't be that patriotic that you have purchased a Chinese mobile and throw it. I have seen it has been drawn done by many people. 
don't throw it because you have already paid and you are going to use this product okay th thank you sir another question mm -hmm. uh, there are any uh, uh, yes sir uh, and is there any way near our government uh, to decrease the import of chinese products especially the mobile phones Mm, that that is a political decision. I don't know. It depends upon the demand. Remember, it depends upon if you all stop using their product, all of a sudden demand will come. That decision has not been taken. But that's why once, uh, sorry, uh, I used to discuss with also international relations with China. You can't beat. Uh, if I say it, you may not like it. Also, I say it is very difficult to beat the Chinese people. My friends who are working there, they say. Uh, even they, their engineering institutions, they are, what they are working, they, they said it's very difficult to beat them. If you want to beat them, you have to uh, be a, they are called dragon, you have to be octopus type. So uh, you have to change your color, you have to just, when you, um, you have to change, change yourself first. You have to change your policy, you have to change your attitude. Like, uh, see, we people are not that disciplined. We people, uh, we have got, uh, let's say, our government setup is quite different. We have lots of oppositions. There, there is one government, one person. What he says, everybody will uh, listen. Even if you have uh, remembered in Times Square, thousands of students were brutally killed when they went against communism. So they are set up, uh, let's say, um, set up their politics, their uh, patriotism are something different. But what I have heard from my friends is now there are also opposition from their inner quarters. Now people are raising their voice. I, I think some of you might have read those who went against even the, uh, some doctors, some journalists went against their government policies. Uh, they are missing. They are being killed. But in, in place like India, if you do something mistake. <laughs> if you do mistake, even police slap you, then you may go to court. You may say go to human right of commission. So our setup is quite different. I hope uh, government uh, will take some measure. And particularly this government is very strict. It will take some measure to ban those products. It will definitely take some products. Automatically, those companies, those who have the manufacturing hub in China, they have already been invited by this government internally. Just come and. Uh, uh, start your factory in India. So obviously, uh, that will happen. I hope. Hope for the best. But uh, import rate in, uh, let's say, steel and other other sectors, that has been reduced like anything. Okay, that's why they are so annoyed. Okay, thank you. Is there any question? I think... Uh... The questions are answered by uh, Dr. Tusar Pani. Okay, Sir. thank you for your patience listening. Hello. Sir, actually, uh, with me, we have uh, three, four batchmates of 2006. They were listening to you, sir. So okay. again, we are thinking that we are in the classroom, what you taught in 2006, the marketing paper. Sir. So they join only because you speak, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, for your, you know, for being with us, uh, for a nice presentation and informing about this environment, market environment. I think uh, uh, the participants, they definitely got some input that will help them in their research and in their academic uh, career. So thank you very much, sir, for accepting and coming and thank you very much. Sir. Okay, thank you, Bharda. You people are young. <laughs> but, uh, still, uh, I think, uh, uh, I am with you people whenever you like. We are here for your time. Thank you. Pradeep, thank you, sir. Raju joined for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Sir, Amya, Pradeep and Raju, they joined. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well. Thank you also.
Thank you all. The session has come to an end. कौन कर